Oh, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Let's go. Let's head down and see what, and see what we can do about that Benny guy. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Hmm. I've got your back. Wow. That's crazy. Right. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally I had to let her out, but my wife and I were descended to a happy match. Two times a week I get her back. I want to go deal with Boone Net with uh, Benny now. Might as well. Then go see what the ambassador wants. Hey, hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now sure. that I got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Uh, I'll figure it out. Have a good time, baby. Hey there, pal. Welcome to the tops. And what can I do for you today? That's spicy you got here. I'll be bash. The tops? Yeah, sure. You want the nickel tour? Old Frank's happy to oblige. We got everything you could want. Slot machines in the back, cards and roulette in the front, fine entertainment upstairs in the Aces Theater. And all with your security personally guaranteed by the chairman and Mr. House's own Securitron police. It's the tops. I think you should know something about. Really? You got something to say about the big boss, huh? Well, why don't you say it to his face instead of yapping at me? I don't think you're gonna like it. He's been making his own play, see. Huh? What are you talking about? Then he tried to kill him. So I'll pass him chip. Liver. That doesn't... Why would he pull a stunt like that? Got anything else to offer? Yeah? What else you got? Found these cigarette butts by the grave he buried me in. Huh. Well, yeah, okay, these are Benny's brand and they ain't too common. You got anything else? Found the slicer in Boulder City. Dropped it when he killed his partners. Yeah, that looks like Benny's lighter, all right. Still, not exactly a ton of proof. Got anything else, kid? That's it. I think. Jesus, kid, I think we got a real problem on our hands. Can't believe Benny's a no-good stinking punk trying to play house like that. Tell you what, I'll call Benny, keep him away from his suite. You go search the place. Here's the key, it's on the 13th floor. It's a room with the double doors, can't miss it. Maybe you'll find something we can show to Mr. House and get him arrested. Okay, well, gosh. Groovy, here's your stuff, Bat. In case you run into company, you dig? I'll tell the boys to give you a pass to pack some heat. Sweet. Come on, then. Elevators to pass the slot machines on your left. Well, that was not quite what I expected.
Hmm, business wire. More money. Might as well just acquire some rewards. Nothing here. Salesman Weekly. Always steals the star sarparillas. I can never pronounce that. What are you doing here? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. What kind of a name is that? It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Seen him. He was around here not too long ago. He's probably down on the casino floor now. You can wait for him here if you like. I'm incapable of asking you to leave. Benny stole a platinum chip from me. Do you know what it's for? Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network, the Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! What's Betty Pine to do with the chip? You're very forthcoming with that information. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? So, Betty reprogrammed you all by himself? Is this place this is benny's workshop when the tops got renovated he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use i guess you could say it's my entire world i don't think i've ever left this room but that's okay i'm not complaining goodbye come back later if you need anything based on a bike Accessible E So that's what Benny was up to. Well, looks like I need to go confront the bastard anyway. That swank guy can give me a hand. Thank you. You're back. Find anything? 
to be proven by Securitron, trying to take it over the strip. He's what? Ah, jeez. Jeez, this is really bad. What are you gonna do? I think there's only one solution. Mouse. Take him out. Jesus. Okay, well, if you think that's the best way to deal with this, I'll send him up to his room. You can ambush him there. And don't worry about the rest of the chairman. I'll keep him from getting involved. You'll still have to watch out for Benny's guards, though. Okay, I'll do it. Go on, then. Elevators are past the slot machines on your right. I'm going to switch back to the repeater. Hello, what Benny. Goddamn you? How could you be? Oh, swank, you thinky bastard. You got a crazy drop on me, baby, but you don't want to kill me. We should be working together. Hand over the platinum chip, mate, and you'll live. Can't do that, baby. The chip, it's special. But savor this, baby. I can comp you the presidential, best suite in the house. After what you've been through, you deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. Give me a moment or two to catch my breath and knock back a few cocktails, and I'll swing by for a meet and greet. I'll clue you in, guaranteed, every question answered. This can be the start of a beautiful friendship. Fuck off. Hand over the ship, or else. Or else what, punk? Or else this? Right, what to spend the rest of this on? We need to spend it on this to get. Right, where's. Finally! 5% more damage with any revolver, lever, extra firearm, dynamite, knife, or hatchet. Right. Guess we bring this to Mr. House. So, am I guess something with the NCR after roll or with with House? You know, some of those two are entirely incompatible. The eyes of the mighty Kaisa are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My you. requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. You again. And she find me here. I am the greatest of Kaisar's Frumentari. It was not a challenge to find you, nor is this my first visit to the Strip. This is a trap. That. The mighty Kaisar has bestowed upon you his mark and guaranteed safe conduct. If he wanted you dead, you would be dead already. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The course Dewey Kumi will be waiting. That guy Benny was a piece of work. Yeah. Yeah. All 
All right, so let's go meet Mr. House then. Well, howdy, partner. Good. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. All right. Come back soon now. Right. So let's see what Mr. House wants with this. The uh, penthouse. No. Oh. The recent disturbance at the top has been resolved. The Nazi. So, Benny has been handled, and you've recovered the platinum chip. Let's have it. All right, here you go. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so. Very dear. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed on October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. Really? So what does the chip do exactly? Some things are more easily shown than told. Take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level and you'll see what I mean. Don't worry, you'll like what you see. We have much to accomplish, you and I. Debris has This is some kind of trap. Step closer to the demonstration area, if you would. I expect you're well familiar with my Securitrons by now. The titanium alloy housing that protects this electronic core deflects small arms and shrapnel easily enough. Its X-25 Gatling laser, produced to spec by Glassinghouse Inc., is deadly against soft targets at medium for close-range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. Hmm. All of this you probably already knew. What you did not know is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. All this time, I can the three? Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacks software drivers for their primary weapons. Today, with the delivery of the Platinum chip, all that Jesus. Finally has soldiers worthy of protecting. Return to the penthouse now. We have much to discuss. Jesus. I got myself in. Trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securitron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. Why show your hand like that? Now they know what you're up to. I'm surprised you can still underestimate me after everything you've seen. I haven't shown my hand. I've shown one card. I've given my enemies a single provocative datum upon which to fixate. They have no idea what other cards I'm holding. It's a strong hand, believe me. I dealt it to myself. So, what happens next? To secure the future of New Vegas, I must 
have your assistance. The work ahead is dangerous, but you weather danger well. Listening. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. What, you want me to kill him? Absolutely not. Caesar is of great use to me. I don't want you harming a hair on that man's head, assuming you can find one. So, what do you want me to do there? I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum chip. How do I open it? You can't, but the chip can. The hatch will recognize the Platinum chip and open sesame. So, what's inside it? Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. What's my stake in this? I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money, though there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future for you and for what remains of the human race. What things I want to ask? What did you want to discuss? Are your plans for New Vegas? I've resurrected Vegas, spirit intact. What I need now is the ability to enforce my rightful claim. Not just against Caesar's Legion, by the way. In fact, the NCR is a more present and insidious threat. So, how do you intend to enforce that claim? To enforce, one must have force. A position of strength. Years ago, when I detected NCR scouts roaming the Mojave, I could tell from their uniforms that these were no mere tribesmen. I knew it was only a matter of time before an army appeared to take control of the dam, and I knew my Securitrons wouldn't be enough to oppose them. And so, I recruited the three families. Vegas belongs to me because I mustered enough strength to bring the NCR to the bargaining table. Wasn't the army big enough to defeat your Securitrons and the families? Indeed it was, and still is. But not without taking significant casualties. Would Kimball and Oliver have traded the lives of hundreds of soldiers for absolute control of Hoover Dam? Oh, Hmm. They weren't afraid of me. They were afraid of Caesar. That attacking me would leave them vulnerable to a Legion offensive. And so they negotiated. Not out of the kindness of their hearts, as they tried to make it seem. Because the calculus of power left no other choice. So, what were the terms of your treaty with the N NCR forces were permitted to occupy Hoover Dam and establish a military base at McCarran Airport. Well, it used to be one. They recognized my sovereignty over the Vegas Strip and agreed to supply electricity and water once their engineers repaired the dam. Written into the treaty were provisions that the NCR do nothing to prevent its soldiers and civilians from visiting the Strip. That's how I harness the NCR to my endeavor. Their occupation has been the engine of my growing economy. Talk about something else. What else did you want to discuss? What was Vegas like before the war? It was a place of splendor. As magnificent as today's strip may seem, it's but a shadow of the neon paradise that was Las Vegas. I grew up not far from here, and though I traveled the old world extensively, I never found another place like it. You say that you saved Las Vegas. How? By 2065, I deemed it a mathematical certainty that an atomic war would devastate the Earth within 15 years. Every projection I ran confirmed it. I knew I couldn't save the world, nor did I care to, but I could save Vegas. And in the process, 
perhaps save mankind. I set to work immediately. I thought I had plenty of time to prepare. As it turned out, I was 20 hours short. Ow! 20 hours? So, what brave purchases did you make? On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted Las Vegas and its surrounding areas. My networked mainframes were able to predict and force transmit disarm code subsets to 59 warheads, neutralizing them before impact. Laser cannons mounted on the roof of the Lucky 38 destroyed another nine warheads. The rest got through, though none hit the city itself. A suboptimal performance, admittedly. If only the flatbed <laughs> ship had arrived a day sooner. Better than, mo better than most places, I'd say. Why didn't it arrive on time? The How did she nearly die? Software glitches set off a cascade of system crashes. I had to take the Lucky 38's reactor offline, lest it melt down. For nearly five years, I battled power outages and more system crashes until I finally managed to reboot my data core with an older version of the OS. I spent the next few decades in a veritable coma, but I survived, obviously, and eventually thrived. Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to discuss? Yes. Goodbye. Well, that was not what I was expecting. Hmm, you guys have upgraded. What's with the snow globe collection? Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me and I'll add them to his collection. He'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. I actually do have one here. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. Bye. Where to, partner? Right. So that episode really didn't have go the way I had thought it would. I've got your back. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Am? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. This is where I come in. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. So are you paying me for this? Oh, no, that wasn't really what we had in mind. We were hoping you would just, you know, help us. To be helpful. Sure, why not? Really? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to agree so easily. That's great. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, 
but hopefully we won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Let's just do this and see how it works. Gives me the creeps. It's too seemed oddly easy. So let's see how that works. I see testing Mr. House. That's how I'll rationalize it. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Indeed I have. It looks like we've started getting reports from the tower's network. I'm sure the others will be able to make some sense of this. Oh, what the hell? The bug went offline. Damn it! I swear to God that old man has thought of everything. Well, it looks like this was all for nothing. But you did your best. I appreciate the help. Huh. That's interesting. So, I'm going to leave this episode here, and then... Let me go around and do some of the uh, other NCR-related quests, build up my reputation with them. Like go around Camp Agar and help out there. Maybe go help restore Foreign Hope. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.